and sinister, Ethan Hawke is a true crime writer with a spotty recent career. He moves his family into a crime scene to write about the case, unbeknownst to them. He finds a box of home movies in the attic that should not have even been there and starts watching them, thinking they might help him with his book. What he uncovers is something so horrifying that it starts bleeding into his family's lives and could end up destroying them. There's a surprising level of dread throughout Sinistar. I'm not usually one to let horror movies affect me, but watching this one late at night with headphones on really enhanced the experience. The energy-infused gummy bears I was snacking on probably didn't help matters. Either way, my pulse definitely quickened a bit while watching Singstar, and one moment around the 53 minute mark actually made me jump, which never happens. The first half of Sinestro, while tense, features a lot of Ethan Hawke doing things with his Mac. While I can appreciate that he seems to be doing things that you can actually do with a Mac, and this isn't some made-up fancy operating system that only exists in movies or at CTU, most of what he's doing leads to somewhat false or insignificant reveals. After that, though, it is game on. Despite its generic and forgettable title, Sinuses is surprisingly good. It's kind of a found footage movie, but also a we watch a guy watch footage he found movie. The film's villain kind of looks like Sylvester Stallone's mother, which is scary on a whole nother level. But he's got a stupid name, and I'm wondering if this film would hold up after multiple viewings once the dread factor wears off. Still, I can only rate it as a film I viewed once, and that one viewing was a lot of fun. Ethan Hawk. Yo, good guy. A movie star. You're the best man in the world. Ethan Hawk, I like you. Ethan Hawk, I respect you too.